All right, guys, just a really short, quick PSA on a couple things that are going on on the global side of Dokkan Battle. Um, first off, we have the maintenance announcement tonight for the Korra banner. Um, or at least that's what we're assuming is for the Korra banner. Maybe we're getting a couple other things we don't know. Um, but essentially tonight at 10 p.m. PST or 2 a.m. Eastern Time, um, the game's going to go down for about five hours. Actually kind of makes me happy because that means I can actually go to bed um, early and uh, not have to worry about summoning on Korra tonight. I just want to go to bed early at a reasonable time. Um, so I want to announce that, so make sure if, you, if you're grinding out the World Tournament, um, actually I think that ends at the time of the World Tournament, um, and the World Tournament ends tonight, so the World Tournament will be ending as soon as the maintenance goes live, so keep that in mind. Um, I want to say something quick about the JP side, the JP Wish event is here as well, um, you're getting orbs to be the uh, as the Wish, um, it should be available tomorrow I believe, um, 380 small of each, 100 medium of each, and 25 large of each, each has 5 total for... Yeah, I don't really think that's a great amount of orbs. I think we kind of actually did a good idea. We had a good thing happen on the global side that we didn't get the orbs. That's really not a lot of orbs. Um, but overall, that's what's going on, on the JP side. Um, now, I didn't see any posts about this, so I'm just going to go ahead and talk about this. I wrote this over in a notepad. Legendary challenge, guys. Uh, and the strike event stuff ends on 9-4, so we have exactly one week for this to run. Um, so once that once that's over, you can no longer get the I guess the, the rewards for the LR Goku. Make sure you finish grinding out LR Goku this week. Other than the World Tournament mission rewards, um, or if you're going for the World Tournament like to actually place, uh, this is going to be your secondary thing outside of the World Tournament. So make sure you go ahead and get that taken care of. World Tournament ends tonight as well uh, at 21:59 PST or nine, no, almost 10 o'clock PST. So make sure you grind that out while you can. Physical banner is going to be open until 9:08. So don't feel like obligated to pull on it unless you're trying to go for Korra. Um, I did just because I want the Elder Kai's. Definitely the two-time Elder Kai's were awesome. And I want that Super Boo because I want Korra. Uh, if you didn't see yesterday's or last night's video, I did a full team building guide on physical Korra. Um, you could also, I guess, utilize that to find out if you should pull for him or not to see what cards that are actually good. And let me like this. A lot, as long as you have linking buddies, the physical Korra will be a very good team because there's just so many different options that you can run. And it's not just like one type or one specific set there's a lot of different options you can run um agility banners open until 8 31 so we only got about three more days left of that um, so if you're going to go and summon for majin vegeta you could try on that banner plus you get double elder kai so it's kind of like a win-win um and there's not a lot of ssrs i don't know what their actual rates are on it but you can go and try and pull for majin vegeta there i'm not telling you that's a good idea but you can do that mr revite event ends in three days as well so if you guys haven't finished grinding out that bulma go ahead and do it you only have three days left to do it. It's a good way to grind money that's easy without having to do any fights or anything like that. The GT event that I usually recommend is currently not available. So go ahead and do that. Um, uh, yeah, ends in three days. Agility Kid Vegeta, his daily event ends on 8.30. So in two more days, his event's going to end. It's going to be back every Monday, so don't worry about it. But if you want to grind him out, make sure you go ahead and do so. Battle of Gods event is still running strong. It's, it goes until 9.9, which I believe is another... Yeah, it's another week and a half, so not this coming Saturday. The following Saturday, it's open until. Um, so this is the event where uh, you Doken Awaken the Super Saiyan White Hot Face-Off Goku into uh, Super Saiyan God Goku. So before you Doken Awaken those God Gokus, make sure you grind out the medals. Get as many of them Doken Awakened as you can, so that way you can uh, get their super attacks all the way up. Uh, I recommend doing it because of the Doken Awakenings first. Uh, do the Intelligence one, because the Physical one's pretty damn easy. You just get to do the White Hot Face-Off. Focus on the Intelligence one first, just because he's going to be really good on a Mono Intelligence Hero team in the future. Um, the, the the actual Strength and the Agility ones don't have tokens yet, uh, I believe, so they will not... They, there's no really reason to focus on them right away. You want the token versions, and typically you want to focus on the token versions because you don't want to have to reverse token them to get their super attacks up. Anyway, uh, last but not least, the Tech Orb event, the Half Stam, Strike events, and the Half Stam, Legendary Challenge, all of them are ending on the same time at 9-4, so make sure you utilize that as well. Anyway, guys, that's it. Just want to go over that real quick. Just a quick PSA before I go into work. Stay tuned. Again, like I said, I will be doing a lot of summons for that physical Korra. I really want him. And here's praying that the physical Omega Shenron is on his banner. Thank you for joining me here today. Hit that subscribe button if you're new, and I'll catch you guys later.